Louisville's jail is understaffed. The police union tells us where there are normally 50 officers, there are now 18. That's per shift. In total, there are 121 vacancies at Louisville Metro Corrections, forcing those that stay to work overtime. The River City FOP president points to a few reasons people are leaving the department, including better pay in smaller counties. You can take a 15, 16 year officer and they can start out in a, in a smaller county making five, six dollars more an hour than what they're currently making. Dealing with a fraction of the inmates, a fraction of the stress is it's just a no brainer. Another recurring concern, COVID in the jail. Tonight, the FOP says there are 50 inmates that tested positive for the virus. This weekend, corrections officers are also mourning the loss of one of their own after a longtime officer passed away from COVID-19. Mayor Greg Fisher announced on Twitter yesterday afternoon, Officer Rick Longoria had passed away. We first shared Officer Longoria's story with you earlier this week. His family says he became sick almost two weeks ago, but his condition worsened fast. Officer Longoria had served as a corrections officer since 2003, and he also served as a member of the armed forces.